Okay, so I am going to share our Padlet that this uh, summarizes uh, what we learned today, what people found interesting. Continue sharing on the Padlet if you wish. Um, one thing I will uh, say is that uh, both Friday and today and tomorrow we have had some tours. Uh, typically those tours are uh, physical in-person tours, but because of, of obvious pandemic reasons, we are not able to really accommodate those right now. So, uh, but it does seem like people have been enjoying the tours and also our talks. So I'm going to share my screen and share what we have been mentioning in Padlet. So uh, people mentioned that the video uh, use is great uh, for the virtual presentations. Um, uh, nice shout out to EVP and the librarian uh, for vet care. Uh, we have uh, hearing and understanding more about horses, gastrointestinal issues. Uh, re revealing and vulnerable, thank uh, valuable rather. Thank you for your great work. Uh, shout out to the climate topics today. We had uh, a few of those, so it's great to uh, see a number of speakers on that. Uh, we also have information about promise of uh, biomass and bioprocessing. Um, an interesting aside, uh, I mentioned this in chat. Uh, I'm not sure how many people saw this, but this is a topic I've actually used to in a class I teach to show students the methodologies of working with uh, searching on interdisciplinary topics. And it's a really good topic because it has both a um, hard science side and a an, uh, life science side. So it's a very interesting topic for that reason, uh, for many reasons, but that is why I have used that topic before. Um, Climate data, uh, I think somebody said in chat something along the lines of the data is pretty depressing and I quite agree, but I think it's uh, uh, very great that they're able to get so much data, including from the ice cores. Uh, vet and human parallels, people mentioned the interesting uh, parallels between human and animal medical treatments. Um, that's, uh, I'm not sure how many people were here uh, Friday, but they were talking about uh, some of the clinical trials that go on at the vet med uh, area of campus and how those are using for humans uh, eventually. Uh, seeing all the lab uh, and bench work in the ice core lab was cool. Uh, agreed that's a very uh, interesting uh, facility on campus. Uh, uh, another great day of the boot camp. Thank you. Uh, they met, uh, shout out to Brian Marks uh, and Keynote, uh, and also the uh, presentation on uh, the biofuels and uh, finishing up with horses. Uh, amazing work with horses, yes. Uh, so I encourage people, I'm not going to go through all the Padlets, um, but I think uh, I encourage you to continue looking at the Padlets and these are things that we can uh, share screenshots of after the boot camp, and somebody's typing one right now as I'm talking. Um, so uh, I think it's really great that we have this variety of uh, topics and a chance for science librarians. Um, and I'm hopefully not putting anybody on the spot, but uh, we left the continent uh, Friday. I'm not sure if we left it today. So we actually had somebody. Um, from outside the uh, the Americas yesterday, or Friday rather. So uh, this is, we usually don't get it uh, too international except for Canada, but uh, we actually got somebody from Europe on Friday. So it's really great that we can do this uh, virtually and get a really good crowd virtually. So I do not have any other comments other than to say thank you guys for coming today. Thank you for uh, sticking around for final comments. We will have our last day on Tuesday. Uh, please definitely continue to uh, add to the Padlet if you wish, but we will have a new Padlet for tomorrow. And for tomorrow's uh, lunch time, uh, we will actually have, instead of a tour, we will have a 
a series of breakout rooms and we will do a poll for you to choose what theme the break rooms will take. So we will do a uh, themed break room option and we will also uh, wrap up with our next host for the Great Lakes Science Bootcamp tomorrow. But we have some really great talks and also tour a uh, tour of our Stone Lab tomorrow. So please feel free to uh, take a look at the schedule and we all hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for coming today and have a good evening.